Hong Kong, Britain's crown colony off the coast of South China, and Macau, the Portuguese colony, three hours south by ferry, are the settings of the story we present tonight, Little Joe, by Albert Bight. I play the role of a legendary adventuress based on a real-life character famous through the Far East, from Kobe to Karachi, from Tokyo to Tonga, who knows everyone from Rajas to remittance men, deals in anything from emeralds to elephants, and gambles with everything except her American passport. We call her Josephine Little, better known as Little Joe. Anna Mae Wong plays Ah Sing, Little Joe's faithful Chinese armor, in this first of a group of stories of Southeast Asia and of the Americans, ugly and otherwise, who roam its fascinating byways. In one minute, Hong Kong and Little Joe. <laughs> Little USA. I say it can't be you again. Just stamp the passports, one American, one British. Before I do, Miss Little, let me remind you that the fixing of horse races is strictly illegal. That was never proved. Oh, there you are. <laughs> we couldn't allow you to disembark without telling you how charming you made our journey from Singapore. My dear, I hope you won't think it presumption for me. If I give you a piece of advice. No, I'd be indebted. Hong Kong is a very dangerous place and very peculiar. And above all, watch your money and your passport. <laughs> yeah. Bye. She was so sweet. We gave her bridge lessons. Who could she be? That is the plague of the Far East. She's known as Little Joe. Oh, Nick, good to see you. Excuse me, I'm in a rush. Oh, things, stop pinching the pennies. Wait a minute. I want to talk to you. I need a blood drug dealer at the Dragon's Den. And Macau? 300 a week U.S. and 10%. That's very generous of you, Nick, but no thanks. We miss you. Everybody wants you back. Nick, don't you ever want to get away from all this? Settle down, lead a clean, normal life, have a child? I, I, I have a child in Athens. Well, send for him. Give him a father's love. But I don't know his address. Goodbye, Nick. Come, Austin. Hey, wait a minute. What's the matter with her? It is the day of the pig. Now, what is the day of the pig? The pig has a big heart and a small mind and comes to end in a sausage. If you and Confucius don't stay out of my love life, I'm going to sell you to a road gang. Little Joe! Steve! Oh! oh. oh. Well, hey, I thought you were supposed to wait someplace. What are you doing here? Is it a nice surprise? Oh, oh uh, you remember my first mate. Uh, listen, Jenkins, I think our little uh, problem has just been solved. Why don't you get back and get things underway? Aye, aye, Captain. What little problem has just been solved? Ah, nothing important. Oh. Ah, sing! How are things in Glockamora? I've never been to Glockamora. <laughs> she's just as inscrutable as ever. Well, she thinks you're a shifty and dishonest, and so do I. Ah, sing, find a chair and sit down. How on earth did you ever find me? Well, Ah, sing inquired at your boat. You remember the Egyptian belly dancer in the place was I, where I was working? Well, she uh, ran off with a young Texan business, fell off at the tables, and here I am. Bangkok, it doesn't seem like a month ago, does it? No, perhaps because it was Singapore and it was three months ago. Oh, oh that was a nice night, wasn't mm. it? Uh, I just sold my cargo of gunpowder. Mm -hmm. And I had just won the ruby necklace. Who suggested that ride, anyway, all the way out to Jahur Baru in the moonlight? You did. That's when you told me about the island. Oh, Steve, did you buy it? Did you get the deed? Well, the price went up. I'm afraid we're going to need more money. $600. Six oh, that's easy. I've got it. 
Now, tell me all about the island once again. Well, it's, it's just south of Pango Pango. It's the sweetest little island you ever saw. Oh. Blue lagoon, white beach, palm trees in the moonlight. And nobody on it but us. Nobody, I. just you and me. When are we going to do it, darling? Do it. Oh, you mean get married? Mm. Oh, just as soon as I get back. Back from where? Nagomi. Nagomi, Japan? Well, I have to look over some oyster beds. Whose oyster beds? Well, let me see if I can explain this. Uh, look, at the minute I got back, I sold your ruby necklace and got your 5,000. Well, with the 5,000 I got for my gunpowder, that made 10. Well, I was on my way over to the colonial office when I ran into Choo Choo Wilson. Well, he had these oyster beds in Nagomi, but the lonesome wife in Lake Forest. Oh, it was a big sacrifice for him, but a real bargain for us, so I took them off his hands. Mm -hmm. You invested our money, the money for the island, in oysters? Oh, now, wait a minute, Pat. We'll get our money out. And more. Forty thousand, if we're lucky. The day of the pig. Oh, shut up. Darling, we have to be practical. The island is fine, but it needs things. What things? Well, a house and stuff for it. All sorts of gadgets. Well, I wouldn't want you to ruin your pretty hands opening coconuts. But I planned on opening coconuts. There might be a family. Oh, don't you see I'm right? Well, now, aren't I? Well, I can't say I blame you. It was only to get the island queen out of Hawk, pay her oil bill. But it's as you said. We're either in this together or we're not. Well, how long does it take to look over oyster beds? Two weeks. Two weeks? Well, that's not so very long. Hey, look, you just stay here with our sink. Fool around. Do some shopping. Uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to go. So soon? Mm -hmm. Oh. Jenkins has a head of steam up. I don't want to waste it. I'll go with you to the dock. No, no. Mm -hmm. There are no oyster beds in the gomi. Oh, don't be silly. I was there once with an American colonel's lady. I speak the truth. Why, that lie. No good. I'll kill him. No. No. Her Majesty's scaffold. Well, it would be worth it, the big ape. Eight to five, there never was an island. All right, go ahead and say it. Never mind, I'll say it for you. I'm the biggest chump north of New Guinea. You are not a chump. You are an American lady. Same difference. The Maharaja Maroda is still in Singapore. Yes. He has many diamonds. Mm, but I'd have to wear one in my nose. Sir Cedric Carstairs. He is an important man in marine insurance. He has a blue Rolls Royce. Sir Cedric. Yes. He has a penthouse in Repulse Bay. Heaven knows I'm not a prude. So when Sir Cedric takes a woman like that to the governor's ball, he goes too far. He obviously doesn't know. He couldn't, and see her every day for a week. And what's more, do you know what a genuine antique tang statue is worth in London? One little horse this big, 1,000 pounds. And this man can copy them exactly. Austin said he's got some trick with aging the mud. He's Austin's cousin. Well, there's a fortune to be made in it. All we need is a little capital. Oh, Josephine, you're much too fine for this sordid life. Uh, I'm retiring next year and going home. <laughs> Come with me. You'll love Sussex. Uncle Cedric! Oh, this little... This is my nephew Binky Carstairs and his wife Mavis. Uh, they're on their honeymoon. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? 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 Have a good bathe. Well, the water's very pleasant, but the beach is dreadful, teeming with Americans. Why must they always throw beach balls at one another? Of course. Uh, how was the cow? Her mother thought it was smashing. And Binky won scads of money in some gambling place. Where was it, Binky? The dragon's den. A big uh, Greek runs it. We're going down there again tomorrow. Why waste time here when there are so many easy marks in the car? And only three hours away. 
Well, come along, Binky. I simply must get out of this wet bathing dress. Mother's waiting in her room. Sweet child, isn't she? Mm. Personally, I can't stand either of them. Oh, oh, sorry for the remarks about the Americans. Oh, frankly, one of them rather ruined my morning. I, I believe you know him, a chap named Connors. Steve Connors? Yes, yes. Got himself arrested and probably lost his ship. Unfortunately, we're the underwriters. Very sticky mess. What happened? Where is he? Oh, a high fong in the Gulf of Tonkin. Well, that's behind the bamboo curtain. Oh, yes, yes. And the rascal will probably end the rest of his days in a red prison. Serves him jolly well right. Little Joe. Thank you for receiving me, Lee Chin. We have been expecting you. My little friend and I. He has been singing all day. His heart tells him all he has to know. Whereas I must rely on the Hong Kong Morning Post. And what did you find there of interest this morning? The shipping news reports an interesting occurrence in the Gulf of Tonkin. A ship captain named Steve Connors was arrested by the Reds at Haiphong. An American ship's captain. I feel it my duty to get him out. To help an enemy join his ancestors is easily arranged. To rescue an American from the Communists is very difficult and very expensive. How expensive? There are fields within fields, many open hands. How much, Lee Chin? $10,000 U.S. $10,000? I won't pay it. He can rot in jail for all I care. Besides, I don't have near that much. Ah, but you have a friend who will make a loan. <sighs> Sir Cedric Carstairs. Well, his company are the underwriters. He's not very fond of Captain Connors. Nick Patras. No, 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 I can pay the interest. But in an affair of the heart. It is not an affair of the heart. In that case, why trouble yourself? As you say, let him rot. Although it is doubtful he will be afforded such a luxury. What do you mean? The prison in Haiphong is celebrated for the size and appetite of its rats. Rats! All right, all right, I'll pay the 10,000 even no. if I have to steal it. I'll oh, not let you put your life in danger. Oh, please excuse my foolish servant. I'll have the 10,000 for you by morning. When I do, the fields will turn. Jove, I seem to have done it again. Little Joe, you're back just when I need you. You have come to work. No, to play poker. Gentlemen, meet little Joe. I say, this is a pleasure. Hmm. You don't object to an American? Never to their money. Mm -hmm. Your deal. thousand and a thousand. My cigarette tossing, please. <clears throat> May I try one of those, please? Of course. Thank you. Two thousand more. Two thousand and these. 
Four kings. Sorry, four aces. Cash, please. Sorry, gentlemen, I'm due with Taylor Trungs in the morning. Come on, sing. Food for the nightingale. Get a cab. Hurry. Very big deck, Nick. Five aces. I've been cheeky. There was $10,000 in that pot. Here. Now get out. Little Joe, you know what this means. All right, all right, I admit it. I did cheat, but it was worth it. What? Why? Because of my daughter. What daughter? The wife of the boy you just paid off. He's my son-in-law. Son-in-law? Well, you're not even married. There was one in London during the war. Oh, it was a mad, impetuous thing. We met at noon on the mall. We drove down to Sussex and were married. And three wonderful, glorious days later, his aircraft was missing. Years later, I, I found his grave, a shallow one, in the room. Wait a minute. This doesn't make sense. Who raised the baby? I gave her to his parents. They were wealthy. What else could I do? Where could I put her playpen? Khan, Monte Carlo, Havana, Nice. And then. Two days ago, I met her on the terrace at Repulse Bay. And do you know what she said to me? She said, Binky and I are going to the casinos all over the world. He's going to make our fortune playing poker. Don't you see? I had to teach that boy a lesson because of my daughter. And that's why it was worth it. And now. Now I'll die happy knowing I haven't failed my duty. I'm ready, Misha. Do with me what you want to please. Do it quickly. Wait. I got a little boy myself in Athens. It is your decision, Nick. Out. Everybody out. Little Joe, I can't throw you to the sarks. You know I can't. Thank you, Nick. Just give me my money back and we forget the whole thing. Well, yes, of course, but I gave it to Austin. She's getting a cab. We want to catch the last boat to Hong Kong. Ah, oh, don't go, little Joe. Stay with me and deal blackjack. You can steal a little bit. I can't, Nick. All right. You can leave as soon as I get my money. Little Joe, you have a big heart for your daughter, and I have a big heart, too. I just the need to say to you, I can be refused to believe it. I tell you, she would not go to Diedrich Dell and she was cheating. Oh, Binky, that's impossible. It's not at all impossible. And there she is. Why, so it is. Mother, it's Miss Little. Just a minute. Who is this? My wife. And who is that? My mother. Taxi waiting. Boat is leaving. I kill her. <laughs> Who is it? It's me, I think. I have brought a gentleman. Uh, Little Joe, please. A uh, gift. In American fashion, I will come immediately to the point. I have just today come into possession of 10,000 strands of these first class cultured pearls from Haiphong. But uh, I need some help in disposing of them. If I were to sell them, I could get perhaps a uh, Forty dollars a strand. But uh, if a robbery lady like Ritter Joe were to sell them, she could get uh, perhaps two hundred dollars a strand. I would give you uh, fifty percent of the profit. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Takamoto. It's impossible. I'm leaving for the South Seas almost immediately. Goodbye. Really, Austin, do you want to get us killed? He'll tell Nick where we're hiding. He had nothing to do with Nick. He would have taken us out of hiding. But no, you must wait for your sea captain. He is no lover. He is a crocodile in the river. He is no provider. He is a grasshopper that sings all year. Oh, make up your mind. All right, sell me the road gang. I'll end up there anyway. 
I lose faith working for such a foolish oh, mistress. Oh, Osprey, really? There's no island south of Pango Pango. You said so yourself. Oh, of course there is. I was just angry. You wait and see. Oh, I know I, what I'll see. He will return, yes. And he will propose, yes. But will he marry you? No. Of course he will. He loves me. He wants to marry me. Then why don't you ask How him? How can I ask him? He's not here. He is here. The Island Queen docked this morning. <laughs> Want to buy fish? Oh, go on, get away, beat it. Little Joe, oh, I've been looking for you. Lee Chin told me what you did. Oh, thanks. If you must have known you'd be caught. Now, what were you after? Pearls. Pearls? Yeah, 10,000 lovely strands hidden by a Colonel Takamoto during the war. I just sold them back to him for $40,000. Half of it is yours. Oh! Correction. 10,000 is mine. You took advantage of my big heart, little Joe. You do not have a daughter, but you do have a debt. But you can work it off dealing blackjack. What is this? Oh, I, I didn't have the 10,000 to get you out of prison. I, I had to cheat Nick out of it. Huh? She doesn't deal blackjack. If I ever cheat again, Nick, it will be for you. Anytime. Anytime. Thanks, Steve. For oh, what? We're going to get married, aren't we? You see, I think, how wrong you were? I uh, go now. Goodbye. Oh, no. I think. I have lost much faith. Oh, what's all that about? Oh, she thought you didn't want to marry me. Oh, she's out of her Shanghai mind. Of course I want to marry you. Just as soon as I get back. Yeah, a deal cooking in Zamboanga. It's a big one this time, boy. If this comes off, we can put a palace on that island. There isn't any island, is there, Steve? I'll find you one. When? Right after my next trip. Well, then let's wait. That'd be much better. You mean it? Of course. Why should I live on a desert island when I can live in a palace? How about some more, Skipper? Uh, look, honey, you just stick around. I'll be back. And don't forget, you're still in for half. Good luck, darling. I have known his brother for 40 years. I felt it was my Christian duty to write him. And if thereby disaster is invented, do stop staring at her and drink your tea. I had a cable this morning from my brother. He's suddenly not well, so I'm flying home tomorrow. Oh, come with me, Josephine. Mm. You're so impetuous, Sir Cedric. Oh, Perhaps yeah. when you get back. Oh, well, uh, as you wish, but I, I still have to pack. Uh, come on. No, I think I'll sit here for a while. You go ahead. I'll take a cab. Well, all right. Uh, goodbye. I think you're back. Yes, I've been looking all over for you. I went to your uncle in Kowloon and, well, at least a dozen cousins. I had lost face. Oh, no, darling, you didn't lose face. I did. He's in Zambuanga with the other tailless monkeys. It is said, she who embraces monkey will end only with the fleas. Now, if you've brought me some more of that oriental prune juice, I don't want it. I have brought a gentleman. Oh? Little Joe. Mr. Takamoto. Please. A gift. Well, thank you, Mr. Takamoto. 